Hi, first Lego League team. My name is Vanishri um, and I'm an archaeology researcher. I'm currently doing my PhD and I'm also working for the MASA project here in Cambridge. MASA stands for Mapping Archaeological Heritage in South Asia. So my favorite part about being an archaeologist is seeing the similarities we have with past humans. Especially when I look at art that was made 40,000 years ago and you notice that people still had the creativity we do now. Another thing I really like about being an archaeologist is that it's quite like being a detective where you're looking for sites and you're trying to piece together things about the past with little clues you have in the present. How do we use technology in our work? Well, so as you can see behind me, we have a map and this map is from 1950, so it's quite an old map. In Masa, we take these old maps and we georeference them, which means we put coordinates on them so we can use them via online software, IMGIS. GIS stands for Geographical Information Systems, which is a map making software to analyze spatial data. So we have all of these maps and often these old maps have information about where archaeology is. So we get the locations of archaeological sites and then we go to the field and find them. One myth I would like to bust about being an archaeologist is that it's not always adventurous. <laughs> There's lots of planning involved in planning a field season and going to look for archaeological sites. So the way Indiana Jones does it, maybe that was true 200 years ago, <laughs> but it's definitely not true now. When we plan to find sites, we prepare, we find the places we want to go to, we look for areas that might have the most uh, archaeological sites. We take first aid kits and largely there's a big focus on health and safety as well. So I just want to say that archaeology is a lot less spontaneous than it's portrayed in pop culture. I think the biggest challenge for me as an archaeologist is taking care of a team when you're out in the field, especially if you're doing field work in extreme temperatures. For example, in May, I was in India doing field work for my PhD. It was really, really hot and trying to get electrolytes, stay out of the sun, always have sunscreen on and make sure that everyone else in your team is also doing that is one of the biggest challenges of archaeology. So I want to wish everyone all the best for the new unearthed season. I hope you all have a great time and learn loads.